I'd been out to a supper club with uh, Maria Parsheva, my girlfriend. It's a Friday night in New York City around 11.30. Uh, we boarded the train on Canal Street, on the last car in the queue. It happened to board the Q train at 11.30 on Friday night. Walter and three of his friends were heading home after a Hanukkah party in Manhattan when he turned to another group of riders and said, Happy Hanukkah. Like, happy Hanukkah, my friends. Like, something to that effect. And almost immediately you see the look in this guy's face like I've called his mother something like I've said something to him that like rubs him the wrong way and I see the way this guy looks and I see the way this guy wants to fight me and I look and I see another guy right in front of me another guy and I see the crowd moving in in the melee that followed Walter and his friends were beaten up first wave I got hit but I wasn't bleeding it was one of those like sucker punch shock punches uh, but by the second time, they were like people stomping me. Walter Adler has a black eye and a split lip. But what the assailants allegedly said could leave the deepest scars. You killed him. You killed Jesus. You killed him on Hanukkah. You dirty Jew. You effing Jew. When Hassan Askari, another passenger, tried to help, he was beaten up too. And I was coming back from work, right over here in Ongon. So I was coming back and I was sitting on the queue. I was saying happy Hanukkah to everybody. A guy um, in the back of the train. He got very angry and, you know, very insulted by that, actually. Goes, Hanukkah, that's when the Jews killed Jesus. And I basically, you know, said, that's ridiculous. I'm not, like, you know, one to start crap with people on the train and on the street, but I'm going to stand up for Hebrew people. The assailants still were being very loud and rowdy. Dirty f***ing Jew, dirty f***ing And they were, at this point, they were getting very confrontational with them. And the poor guy, you know, Walton, the whole group of them, they were trying to defuse it. and basically say, yo, we're going to pull these Jews off the train and, at decal and beat them on the platform. There were 14 of them total, six girls and eight guys, and uh, they're hitting me in the face. I'm bleeding on the ground, my lid splits open, I'm bleeding, and this random stranger, uh, Hassan Askiri, jumps in. I thought one of the assailants might came up to one of the girls and he might do something, and that time I grabbed one of, I grabbed him and I pulled him to the side. And I said, you know, what's wrong? I mean, are you crazy, son? What are you doing? They all grabbed me and then they pushed me against the wall and then they, you know, punched me up a little bit. From there, they beat up Walter. They punched him and, you know, they beat him down pretty bad. It was really bad to see what happened. Hassan is the only person to try and help us at all. Everybody runs to the back of the car. It was pretty shocking to see something like that happening. You know, usually you don't expect something like that to go on in the train. Here we have freedom of speech and freedom of religion. And what I've seen this Friday night is just, uh, Put my spirits down. That guy, Hassan, my girlfriend and me and my best friend might have been beaten to death on that train if he hadn't jumped in and helped us. My, my father, my parents, they always brought me up to help my fellow man. There's no question about you know, whether I did anything special or not. What I did should be the norm for anyone. And Islam, it teaches you to be you know, helpful to your fellow man, to be kind, courteous. No one else helped us except Hassan. No one else on the train. A Muslim American saved us when our own people were on the train and didn't do anything and when everyone else's people were on the train doing anything. Someone who in the media often gets painted as the enemy of Israel and the Jews. You know, this is a Bangladeshi Sunni Muslim. This is someone that jumped in. He knew we were Jews to help us. Hopefully this will reach a lot of people and it will change the way people view each other. It will change the way people act toward one another.